learn four digit numbers. First we should know what is single digit number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One to nine. These are the single digit numbers. So next see the two digit numbers. So we are going to add plus one here. So nine plus one. We are getting ten. This is two digit number. So from ten to up to ninety nine. So 10 or 11, 12, 13 or 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever it may be. Up to 99, all these are two digit numbers. Next, three digit numbers. So, add plus 1 to the largest two digit number. 99 is the largest two digit number and 10 is the smallest two digit number. So, add plus 1 to the largest two digit number. That is 99 plus 1 is equal to 100. Which is smallest three digit number. Hundred is the smallest three digit number. Then what is the largest three digit number? Triple 9. Triple 9 is the largest three digit number. 9 is the single digit number which is largest single digit number. 9 is largest single digit number. And 10 is the smallest two digit number. And 99 is the largest two digit number. If you are adding plus 1 to the 99, then we are getting 100, which is 3 digit smallest number. Hundred to up to 999. All these are 3 digit numbers. So, let's add plus 1 to the largest three digit number. So then we are getting 1000 which is 4 digit number. So 1000 is the 4 digit numbers. That means 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1000 is the 4 digit number. In this 4 digit Chapter we are discussing standard form, word form and expand form. What is standard form? Suppose let's take one number. 234. This form everyone knows. This is standard form. Write this one in word form. 200. 34. This is the word format and this is the standard format. Now we are writing same number in expand form. Expand form. 200 plus 2 is in hundreds place. So that is why we are writing 200. And 3 is in tens place. So, 30 plus 4 is in ones place. So, 4. This is ones place. This is tens place. This is in hundreds place. So, 200 plus 30 plus 4. That is equal to 234. This is the expand form. This is standard form. And this is word form. Now we are discussing place value and face value. 
what is place value and what is face value. So now I am taking 564 value. It represents the position of the given digit. Suppose that place may be in ones place or hundreds place or thousands place or in last place. It may be anything. So depends on the place it may change. But face value it remains always same. It gives the always same value. So this is 4 is represents in ones place. This is in tens place. Now this is in hundreds place. What is the face value of 6? Face value. So F. Yeah. What is the face value of 6? Always it remains same. 6. Place value. Six. The place value of 6 depends on the place. Automatically the digit will change. The position will change. So 6 into 10 that is equal to 60. Similarly, place value of 5. P means place value. The place value of 5 is 5 into 100. 500. Face value of 5. It always remains same. Let's see the another example. It is 9563. Place value of 9. Which is 9000. What is the face value of 9? Which is remains same. Always same. Similarly, place value of 5. 500, face value of 5, which is same, 5. Similarly, place value of 6, 60, face value of 6, it always same 6. Next, face value of 3, equal to 3, place value of 3. It also same 3. Because this is in 1's place. So 3 into 1, 3. 10's place. 100 and 1000. Now we are discussing next exercise in 4 digit numbers. Successor and predecessor. What is successor and what is predecessor? The number that comes after the given number is called successor. After the given number means here we are having the 5 number. Example, here we are having 5. After this number means we are adding plus 1. 6. We got 6. 6 is the successor of 5. Let's take one more number. 126. What is the successor of 126? Add plus 1. 721. 127. 127 is successor of 126. So blindly we should add plus 1. That comes next number. So this is the successor. Next, predecessor. The number that comes before the given number. So here we are having 8. The predecessor of 8 is subtract 1 before number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
बिफोर नंबर मीन्स फोर इज द बिफोर ऑफ फाइव थ्री इज द बिफोर ऑफ फोर सिमिलरली टू इज द बिफोर ऑफ थ्री सो रिवर्स काउंटिंग फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन लाइक दट सो हि आम सप्रैक्टिंग विथ वन सो आई गॉट सेवेन सेवेन इज द प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ एट Similarly, thousand four digit number I'm taking. So blindly you do minus one. Nine nine nine. Triple nine. Nine hundred ninety nine. This is the largest three digit number, which comes when you are subtracting one from the thousand. Next topic is ascending order and descending order. what is ascending order and what is descending order ascending means small to the big small to big descending order means big to the small one sharp part is also there d d means decreasing that is big to small Ascending is increasing, small to big, D decreasing. You can remain like this. D for decreasing, descending order, big to small. Ascending is small to big. Suppose here I am having five comma ten comma two comma three like this. Write these numbers in ascending order. so small to big how do you write here small to big which is the smallest number in these two these four 1 2 3 4 4 numbers are there so 2 is the smallest number ascending order 2 comma next one small is 3 3 comma next one 5 comma 10 This is the order of ascending order. Similarly, descending order. Here I am having some numbers: five hundred thirty-two, zero, ten, one thousand three hundred forty-five, six, seven. These are the numbers here we are having. We should write these numbers in descending order. For these numbers, we are writing descending order. So, big to small. Descending order means big to small. Which is the biggest number in all these? This one. So, write tick mark like this. One thousand three hundred forty-five. Next big number. Six or seven or ten or zero or five hundred thirty-two. Which is big? This one, so five hundred thirty-two. Next remaining zero, ten, and six, and seven is there. Next one is the ten, seven, six, and zero. Zero means no value. So this is the descending order. So big to small ascending means small to big now we are discussing round off what is the round off we are discussing like the suppose if i am having on um, 11 chocolates so i can say like that around 10 i have like that i can say like that here i am having 54 member so if we round off this means we can round off this one as 50 so 1 2 3 4 see check the last digit which is 4 so which is less than 5 means we can round off to the lesser number if it is 5 6 7 8 9 9 which is greater than 5 means you can round off to the greater number So suppose 
here I am having 56. If it is the 56, we can round off to the 60 like this. If it is 53, we can round it off to the 50. That means lesser number. We should cross check these numbers. Once digit numbers. If it is 2 digit number. If it is 3 digit number. 622. That means which is near to the 620. If it is 625 which is near to the 630 like that. We should round off. 958. You can write this one as 960. So this is the round off. Now we are discussing compare. Compare in four digit numbers. Suppose in our house if we have two kids. Then also we are comparing who is small or who is big like that we are comparing. Similarly numbers also we are comparing like that. Suppose two numbers are there. 7 and 9. Here we are comparing which is big and which is small. Like that. 100 and 1000 is there. Two numbers are there. Here also same thing. We are comparing this one and this one. Which is big and which is small. Like that, always in numbers we are comparing. If you are having two or more numbers, always we are comparing. Compare these numbers. So, here equal, less than and greater than. Using this, you can compare the numbers. Suppose if two numbers are same, you can use equal. If one is greater or less number, we can use these two. So here, I am having 5 chocolates and another person is also having 5 biscuits. So, that time we can use equal. Because here also, I am having 5 chocolates and here also, I am having 5 biscuits. Material is whatever it may be, but number is same, like that. Here, 7 and 9. Two numbers are there. Which is big and which is small. Depends on we are using less than and greater than symbols. So, 9 is bigger than 7. We can use this symbol. Here 100 is smaller than 1000. So, same. 500 and 200. Here 500 is bigger than 200. We can use this symbol. We can easily identify which is big and which is small depends on the discount. 1, 2, first to take small numbers. If we have any confusion in the comparison, let's take small digit numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Take up to 9. So 1 is small then all these. Next, 2 is small, but 2 is bigger than 1. So, this is bigger than this one. Like that, 3 is bigger than 2. 4 is bigger than 3. 5 is bigger than 4. 6 is bigger than 5. Like this, if you know this order, easily here we can represent which is big and which is small. First, here 500 and 200 I am taking here. So, how I am identifying here is 5 is bigger than 2. Because here is 3 digit number, here is also 3 digit number I am having. So, 5 is bigger than 2. So, that is why I am writing like this. 349 and 250. Now, these two are also same three digit numbers. So, first I am counting hundreds digit. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, 100. 3, 2. Which is big? 3 is big. 2 is small. Directly we can write this one. 500. 3. And 500. 
so these three are also three digit numbers and this one this one remains same next take the tens position go to the tens position 0 and 4 which is big 4 is big blindly we can represent like this so this is the comparison one more example we are discussing 3456 2456 this is 3456 and 2456 so these three numbers are remain same but first we have to go from the left these numbers we should consider these two numbers 3 and 2 which is greater 3 is greater so blindly we can write greater greater than suppose if it is 4 then we should write less than because 3000 is lesser than the 4000 so we should write like this if both are same this one this one same then go to the hundreds this one this one same next go to the tens place this one this one remain same the 6 and 6 remain same then what symbol we should write? Equal. 